Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out some amazing new design tools, resources, updates, courses. So let's check out these amazing tools from the month of March 2025. Also, if you like this video and this series, hit that like button that really helps the channel grow. This first tool that we're going to check out is an AI powered tool that can generate UI designs based on detailed prompts. And this was also product of the day. This was a, this has been backed by Y Combinator and it has some very unique features. So let's check it out. For example, I've put in, I need a mobile UI page that can compare pricing plans of my SaaS product. Now this is a decent prompt, but how do we improve this? There's a nice little feature, which is called enhanced prompt here. I click on it. It starts enhancing my prompt as the name suggests. And now, as you can see, create a mobile UI page that displays a comparison of pricing plans include a clear layout with pl plan features, pricing details and call to action button for each plan. So it's giving a more detailed explanation with the prompt enhancing feature. If you want, you can even upload a reference image. You have a complex project. You can even ask it to think and reason with you and then just go ahead and click on this button. And just like in chat GPT, as you can see, it starts to think and almost immediately it starts to code. Not only is it creating UI designs, it's also generating the code behind these UI designs. It starts up and as you can see, it's coded a nice little pricing comparison section right here with buttons, etc. Once again, each button, as you can see, can be tapped like this. Nice little material design buttons for sure. What's cool is you can make certain changes or additions to this. So I can say, add a background image to this section with a blur. As you can see, it's added a nice little background blur image. Pretty interesting, I'd say. I would say this is very comparable to tools like Lovable. However, there is little to no support for Figma as of now. Okay, so you guys probably know about the Google UX certificate. Microsoft now has their own UX design professional certificate as well. It's recently launched and it's on Coursera, just like the Google certificate. It has gotten a good 4.6 rating and it is great for beginners according to them. Now, the main difference between Google's and Microsoft, apart from the company name, is this is a four course series as compared to the larger course which is the Google certificate. So if you're looking for something smaller and shorter, which still covers things like UX design practices, accessibility, user interface design and prototypes, fundamentals, it basically is covering a good part of the basics. If you want to get the basics right and you want company's name behind it, like Microsoft, I think this is a really great course. This is nowhere close to the Google certificate, but the Google certificate can take up to six months. This can be done easily in two months with 10 hours a week. So if you put in more time, you can probably do it in one month. Now, instead of going for the extensive larger Google UX program, you can go for the Microsoft UX program. Check out reviews, etc. I'll put in one or two reviews if I can find some and then you can always check them out. Now, today's video has been sponsored by an amazing design platform. This is called Pagdora, and they have thousands of 3D mockups, packaging designs, an inbuilt 3D modeling software, and so much more, all available on the browser. They have thousands of templates to choose from, and whichever product you want to choose, whether it's a phone or a t-shirt, and it brings this amazing mockup into their editor right here. Inside the editor, you can upload image of your brand, your packaging design, graphic design, whatever it is, you can just add it here or you can pick up from the already existing templates or inspiration. For example, I like this design a lot. As you can see, the design has been applied and it looks amazing with all the lighting. It makes you feel like a real printed mug. You can choose from different material, change the properties of this material as well from this nice little 3D editor. And you have a bunch of nice AI tools like this AI background generator. So you click on AI and it creates a wonderful background for your product. As you can see, it's generated two really cool options with different lightings in the background from what I chose. Of course, there are hundreds of options to choose from. Once you're done, you just click on export. Now there are all the different exporting options. Once you're happy with this, different formats, qualities, even export in the form of die lines for your packaging design, videos, a shareable link, as well as codes. You can literally embed this on your current website. Of course, you can use this for free, but even the premium plans are super affordable for each and every business or even individual. For an amazing 20% off on their paid plans, you can use Puneet 20 
as a code on checkout. So just insert the code Puneet20 and you'll get 20% off on a Pagdora subscription. How cool is that? Thank you once again, Pagdora, for supporting the channel. Now, recently we saw the Ghibli trend go viral all over the internet. People talking about OpenAI's new chat GPT update that allows you to generate really cool graphics out of your images. What if I told you that the same thing can be done for icons, designs, web designs, 3D objects, and stuff like that. Now on Twitter, there were a bunch of people who created these 3D objects with a very consistent and good clean theme. So it's not just random 3D objects, these are actual good objects. I mean, you really can't make out this was generated by AI, you would feel like someone generated it with a 3D software like Blend. It's really cool. In fact, a lot of people are coming up with their own full-fledged tutorials of creating 3D objects, of illustrations, of web designs. And I think this is a cool wave because it allows designers to just experiment with ideas rather than having to commit to one design. They can just experiment and later on they can convert those experiments into like a final product. Now, this now people will start asking questions about will this replace my job? And I've already done a video on that, so I will not cover this again. But once again, I just have one request from you people, please don't overuse it or abuse it. Now talking about OpenAI, a lot of you use, you use AI prompts, etc. OpenAI has launched their OpenAI Academy, which basically allows you to learn from experts how to prompt, how to design, how to use it for design, how to use it for business and development workflows, how to use it for education, things like that. So you'll find a lot of different content on OpenAI Academy with different themes and different topics. You will also find a lot of events happening under this page as well. So you'll find live online and even offline events in the future. A lot of learning material today. This seems more like a course video. Now, NNG Group, as you guys know, is one of the leaders in creating some of the best educational material for beginners and advanced people. They have come up with something called study guides. Now they have compiled study guides over multiple years of what they've created and created these nice little headlines for each kind of topic. If there's something, there's something called mobile UX, for example, mobile UX study guide. If I click on this, they will give an entire itinerary of sorts on what you can expect and the entire agenda covers different aspects of mobile UX, which is giving you a step-by-step -step on what to learn and where you can learn it from with the relevant links, articles, videos, etc. I love the fact that it's just a list of really cool resources listed all out on here. And each page, literally see how lengthy this is. It's covering every single detail, both basics and advanced. But these are 100% free. I think you should take advantage of this. They've generated and built this for you guys. So why not go, go ahead and try it out. Okay, so you guys, some of you guys might be using graphic design tools or maybe Figma to design graphical assets, etc. Now Coral Draw, the very famous design tool, which is even taught in design schools and colleges out there, has taken out their own version of Canva. It's called Coral Draw Go, very appropriate name. And it's basically a miniaturized version of Coral Draw on the web. Now, the cool thing is it does reflect a lot of what we already have with Canva or Adobe, but it has a lot of cool features like drawing and painting, which you could not do with other tools, but you can do here as well. Vector editing, some unique typography editing that you can do inside this, apart from the already existing presets that they've made. And their library has 6 million plus royalty free stock photos, assets, GIFs, whatever. Now, much like Hero Typer, it gives you a very similar experience. However, with a few advanced features. For example, it has a lot of deployment tools. You can literally publish this as a web app. They even have Figma-esque prototyping as well as collaboration features. So you can even pick from a lot of the material that they've already built. These are all, you know, custom designed with interactions, etc. A lot of these look really good and I absolutely love this dark mode that they're going for them. Once again, give Prototyper another tool in the roster of Figma design to code or design to real actual application. Now recently Figma launched a massive update. Let me try and quickly summarize what's new. First of all, they released their very own Figma UI kit based on the One UI 3 standards. This is something that you can again 
drag and drop on your own, use their own components for your design work. And this is a really cool design system built in Figma, so it's very op well optimized and it uses a lot of the powerful features that Figma has to offer. They also have given a color accessibility tool inbuilt into the current color tool. So anytime you go to pick up a color, it will recommend to you what is the best color for the background that text is on with this nice little mesh inside the color picker. So it kind of guides you where to what colors are appropriate and you can just drag and drop the color picker there. They also now have annotations. Now annotations is something that people have been waiting for. They didn't know they needed it, but now they do. Literally, you can label and mark different parts of your designs, not with comments, but with annotations. And each annotation can have a different category. So one category could be accessibility. The other category could be colors. So whatever you're trying to mark or annotate, you can put it into different categories, have different properties to each uh, annotation. Now they've also introduced something called FigPal and the amount of experiments you can do with FigPal is crazy. It's available for both free and paid users for the month of April only. Maybe they make it live, who knows? And you can quickly customize it to whatever you like. It could be a little cat, a dog, a star, for God's sakes. And you once you save your pal, it sits right there on your Figma bottom bar. You can even make it follow your mouse, which is really cool and a nice little touch. But once again, something really cool, which can lighten up your mood and it'll be a nice little pet sitting in Figma. They now also have a lot of new Figma slides features, as well as some symbols and text-based features. Of course, I will have a link to all the detailed feature listings and updates down in the description. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I was super excited to make this one. There are a lot of cool new things that came out in the month of March even though March, March is generally a slow month. If you want videos like this every single week, make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel with the bell notifications on. Otherwise, you'll miss out. I'll see you next time. Until next time, take care. God bless.